Uh, one was the colonies, uh, founded by real, true, solid, Bible-believing Christians who wanted to use North America as a base of operation to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Those were the Puritans, the Pilgrims, etc. And then you had Jamestown to the south, where the slogan was, Damn your soul, grow tobacco. Uh, by the way, the Christians uh, that you are talking about were uh, the Roman Catholic Church and the Church of England, two operations which, in many ways, shapes, or form, did not represent anything that Jesus stood for. So we make that distinction right off the bat. Now let's talk about the peaceful Muslims versus the Muslims who are trying to take over the planet. Sharia law is not in any way, shape, or form conducive what what, what we have here in the United States of America, and they know it. They will never be beholden to the Constitution of the United States, so these radicals want to impose Sharia upon us, and if they can't do it through violence, they will do it by way of the womb. Next question. Thank you very much. Ah, let's see here. Other callers on the Savage Nation. We have, uh, well, okay, this is Leonard WJR. Two WJR callers. No waiting. You're on the air, Leonard. Thanks for calling the Savage Nation. My comment is uh, something's going on in Europe, too, uh, with the Muslim population. You know, there's an Oktoberfest in Munich, particularly, that's been going on for something like 200 years. It celebrates uh, a wedding that happened actually in um, October, but the party happens in September. The uh, Muslim communities around Munich, or the people that are migrating into Munich, supposedly wrote a letter to the mayor of Munich that basically stated they should cancel this festival because it offends their religious beliefs and they serve alcohol. Oh, of course, sure. Just like the, uh, the Somali Muslims in Minneapolis who wouldn't work at the Target because... Uh, or that wouldn't check people out in line at the Target because the people were buying bacon. Right? Same deal. There was the airline stewardess that wouldn't serve alcohol, and they basically made an accommodation for her, but she's still upset that she's her fellow employees are, have to take up the slack because she doesn't want to serve alcohol. Or, or, Leonard, let's just take it to what happened you know, this week, or maybe it was last week, with the clock kid down in Texas. Okay, you get the clock kid. A uh, Muslim kid builds builds something that looks like a bomb. Oh, give him a free pass. Come on now. We don't want to offend anyone. It's the same deal, Leonard. This is what we're talking about here. That's it. I used to live in Dearborn. Dearbornistan. <laughs> you got it. Well, I'm telling you. Come on now. I think they even call it Dearbornistan. Thanks for your call on this, the Savage Nation. <sighs> My gosh. Is there anything else we can possibly talk about? I'm looking, oh, well, climate change, of course, the news. Did you hear this one? The Associated Press. Oh, the Pope was talking about climate change today, too. Yeah, we'll get to that, some of that. We'll get to some of that for you in just a second. The Associated Press has taken a stance on climate change. Well, of course they have. They've announced a policy that mandates stronger descriptions of people who doubt global warming is real. So this is the official news speak. My God. Uh, Orwell was just so, he was like a prophet. Those who reject mainstream climate science will be now called something else, okay? They're called climate change doubters, doubters. So this is the AP, Associated Press style, style book. It says, quote, We are adding a brief description of those who don't accept climate science or dispute the world is warming from man-made sources. Our guidance is to use climate change doubters or those who reject mainstream climate science and to avoid the use, going forward, of skeptics or deniers. So in other words, the drones who are writing these news stories now, this is what you're going to say. Um, instead of saying, you know, Michael, Skep Michael Savage is a climate change skeptic or Brian Sussman, and by the way, my background is in meteorology, I've written a couple books on this topic. Instead of saying Brian Sussman is a climate change denier, now we will say Michael Savage is a climate change doubter. And Brian Sussman is one who rejects mainstream climate science. So that's the way the Associated Press is going to be doing it going forward. 
So with that in mind, here's Popey. He popes out there. Pope Francis. Popey. P-O-P-E. Sorry. Pope. Uh, oh, here we go. This is the Pope. Clip six. Play it, please. And Holy Father, you remind us that we have a sacred obligation to protect our planet. God's magnificent gift to us. We support your call to all world leaders to support the communities most vulnerable to changing climate and to come together to preserve our precious world for future generations. There you go. So that was the other pope. That was Obama. Well, I say that because uh, I thought we were going to be hearing from the pope, but we had Josh Ernest earlier today saying Obama was like the pope. So, okay, it all kind of makes sense to me. Listen, I, I am reminded of one of the great history books of all time, and that would be the book of Genesis, written by Moses. It's one of the greatest uh, early early um, history books of the people of the world. So if, the, if Obama and the Pope want to take global warming to the religious level and to the God level, may I just remind them both, especially Mr. Obama, who, quote, has always been a Christian, and the Pope, who is the vicar of Christ. Uh, guys, can we just go back to Genesis 8.22? Okay, I'm going back to the, the Jewish scriptures here, which I'm sure you all recognize as being, quote-unquote, the Old Testament. And this is what God said to Noah. Remember Noah? He's a man who walked with God, the Bible says. As long as the earth endures, God said to Noah, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, Day and night will never cease. Now, Mr. Pope, either you believe it or you don't. Mr. Obama, you've always been a Christian. Either you believe it or you don't. And we'll just leave it right there. On this, the Savage Nation. Brian Sussman, pleased to be filling in. We're going to be taking your calls coming up. Phone number is 855-400-7282. Don't forget, michaelsavage.com. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. It comes to the care of our common home. We are living at a critical moment of history. We still have time to make the change needed to bring about a sustainable and integral development, for we know that things can change. That's the Pope today talking about global warming and climate change, saying uh, we need to bring about Sustainable and Integral Development. Brian Sussman filling in for Michael Savage on the Savage Nation. Folks, sustainable development is a, is a term coined by a guy named Maurice Strong, who was head of the United Nations Environmental Policy. So in sustainable development and integral developments, those are terms that came from the United Nations. And what they mean, what they mean, they both mean socialism redistribution of wealth so he's using a coded language that's understood by many uber liberals and elites at the un and around the world when he says we need to bring about a sustainable and integral development for we know things can change this is what the pope is talking about this this is not a dumb guy okay he's a very smart man academically speaking for sure he knows what he's talking about he's talking about unleashing socialism and redistribution in the name of climate change to save the planet. Brian Sussman, proud to be filling in and honored to be filling in for Michael Savage on this, The Savage Nation. Warning, The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Actually, Michael Savage off today. Brian Sussman filling in on this, this, on this The Savage Nation. MichaelSavage.com is the website. Go there for all your news needs. It's a beautiful website, MichaelSavage.com. 
And by the way, when you're there, please order a copy of Mike's new book. It's available next month, just a couple weeks from now. It's called Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. And of course, that's been Michael's theme, right? Forever. The mantra, borders, language, culture. I remember when he first started his program in San Francisco on the station on which I host the morning show. And Michael's still on, of course, uh, 12 to 3 Pacific. Borders, language, culture. Michael Savage, the Savage Nation. And uh, don't forget, Mike's emailed newsletter comes out a couple times a week. You can go there to sign up for that, michaelsavage.com. My day started off great. I start work very early because I've got my morning show, and then I was going to fill in for Savage, so that's seven hours of radio altogether. I'm pumped up. Then I start hearing all the bad news. One of the bits of bad news has to do with a piece of audio you're going to hear in just a moment. And then I'm going to get to the caller named Jill in just a second, because you get behind the microphone and callers break news. Callers will tell you about things going on in their community, in their state, and you, and you say, what the? So first, New Jersey, uh, there is a school district in New Jersey, and some of you may be very familiar with this story. I didn't become familiar with it until about 3 this morning. So the school district, I guess, was under pressure from, student, from parents to put, to put aside a special Muslim holiday. Special Muslim holiday. You know, kind of like you take off for Christmas, you take off for New Year's, Easter, whatever. President's Day. They want a special Muslim holiday. And the school district said no. And there were all these, I saw the video, all these all these Muslim moms especially just outraged. And then one Muslim mother said what you're about to hear. And all it did was confirm what I have been saying on the radio. Michael's been saying on the radio Many historians have been saying this is the modus operandi of the of the uh, radical Muslim. Take a listen to this statement. We're no longer the minority. That's clear from tonight. We're going to be the majority soon. We're going to be the majority soon. That wasn't a statement of fact. That was a threat. We're going to be the majority soon. And when we are. And what do we have? The fundamental transformation of America with Obama getting ready to, by way of his executive authority, bring in 100,000 Syrians. And by the way, the process, as I understand it, when he brings people into this country with his executive authority in refugee status, the vetting isn't the same as, for example, those who come into this country legally. And now they're telling us maybe 200,000. Let's start doing the math here. I mean, just use your imagination. Uh, what, the average American these days, your average, let's just say, I don't know, average American who's been here a couple generations, how many how many children do they have these days? I mean, I look at the Silicon Valley, you, you might get a couple to have one, because we got to keep our carbon footprint small, you know. Well, these Muslim refugees come into the country, one, they'll have ten. Just start doing the math. You bring in 100,000 and then chain immigration, and then children? It's the fundamental transformation of America. Now we go to Jill, who's listening online. Jill, welcome to the Savage Nation. Brian Sussman filling in for Michael Savage, and you, Jill, are on the air. Hi. Yes, I'd like to comment. In my school district here in Pennsylvania, Christians have been just dissed continuously. We're not even allowed to acknowledge uh, Christmas, Good Friday, Easter on the calendar. They do acknowledge some other religions, but when I brought it up with the principal, I was told that because Christians had so many years of advancing their religious holidays that they had to roll it back. So we can't sing religious Christmas carols. We can't uh, really make any... um, any show of uh, a practice of our faith because they say it's the public school and religion and public right school. separation of church and state unbelievable so now the christian holidays are no longer noted you don't call it the christmas break it's called the wet break holiday break uh, cr- winter break what do they call it the winter recess and the spring break there you go oh no mention of and and, and yet i'm curious jill since the school district isn't going to be taking um they won't. They won't recognize it as uh, as the as the Christmas holiday. 
And I know there are other, for example, militant atheist groups that are trying to do the same. 